Hi, my name is Eddie. I own this uh, beautiful 48 Ocean 1999. This was the most successful years in Ocean built a boat. When I saw that boat, I thought she was beautiful, sexy, and very, very fast. So I bought the boat, and then I started improving it to my liking. By trade, I'm a special effect man for the motion picture industry, and I do things for the sets, and I create kind of the magic for what happens in the films. I did that to this boat. I'll point out a few of the things that the boat did not come with and wasn't an affection with. It, there may be some very small and minute, but some of them are very, very major. For one, I created grab holds here, so when we come off diving trip with a dinghy, we have something to grab, and we don't trip over a cleat. As we go in, I also want to point out the beautiful woodwork. We've always kept it that way. As we go into the boat, uh, on the transom, if the camera can come around and I'll show boxes that we've created to utilize the space because it's a vacant hall, we utilize the space for all kinds of things that I thought shouldn't be on the deck. Fishing gear, even though I'm not a fisherman, we've always had fishing gear in here. When I come out of a dive, and in California it's cold, and you want to stay warm because uh, as, as you strip your clothing off and your wetsuit, in here, the factory provided a shower, but didn't provide hot water. And so I went in and we ran hot water from the hot water heater, which is way down below, up to here, so we can take a hot shower. And this is where you feel fresh water from. The factory did that. Of course, we made a hanger for the, uh, for the earplugs. We've shown the engine before. In here, there's a stainless steel plate. I put it in so it doesn't get scuffed with shoes as you go in and out. There's one more thing I want to point out. There is a 220 cable that comes into the boat from shore. There is a 110 plug that if you are in Mexico or in any other marina and all they got is a 110 plug, then this particular plug would plug into the inverter and supply power to the boat. So 220 is what you factory put in. I put in the 110 system so you can go in next to any home and plug it in literally. We keep the uh, safety wheel here and uh, now we'll uh, go in the boat. Oh, there is one other thing I wanted to mention. Inside this cover, the factory puts plates in here and pins to stop the rudder from falling out. What I did, I actually produced brass bearings. So those are brass bearings. It's grounded. As far as grounding is concerned, there's a grounding system, which I'm gonna bring a flashlight to show you. The grounding system is down there. It's on one of the swim step stanchions. So if you do not wanna go underwater and change the zincs, you can actually put the zincs on by hanging over the side with your arms and uh, change the zincs from above. You do not have to dive. If you wanna dive, we have one zinc plate on the bottom as well. For the, uh, for the fishermen, we, for the fishermen we have salt water system. 
with fresh and salt water which goes into the uh, faucet and eventually will go into uh, a bait tank that would sit either inside the boat or outside the boat but it's not something you need to keep in per se I'm not a fisherman so I've never fished a boat but I've made it in case somebody doesn't want to fish I did that uh, should we go in the boat? should we go up on the bridge? okay, let's go up on the bridge Here in California, the weather can get pretty nasty. And we, I've, I've been with this boat in some huge weather. And uh, the first time I got water over the bridge and everything turns white because the sun shines into it with the salt water. And I was very unhappy. How do you how do you have, how do you clean it out? So we created this hard window. This is tempered window. Actually, it has the tags from the tempering company. This is an aluminum structure. It's been powder coated by a factory and installed uh, with uh, stainless steel screws and. It has windshield, wash, wash, windshield wipers, three of them. One in here. Stainless steel windows to get fresh air in when you're on the go. And windshield washers below here. So that, that makes it very convenient when you go on big weather and uh, it always gets nasty, so, so it's been good to do that. On the bridge, we actually, uh, if, if you put the camera up there, I'll show the windshield washer how they work, actually. That's actually how they work. So it makes it very convenient to control everything from the control board here. I've put it, I've put it paralleling switch here and that switch parallels the uh, batteries from left to right or right to left there is an uh, anchor you can uh, the windlass can be operated from the bridge or from paddles up in the front the C120 has, uh, has a very fancy transducer that's uh, actually hanging inside the boat and it shoots through the bottom of the boat uh, it was very very uh, it was very very expensive transducers I paid two thousand dollars for the transducer uh, everything in here is redundant so we have a GPS in here and we've got a GPS in here I have a radar in here and a depth sounder and this is a radar I also have another depth sounder in here, which is called a tri-data. So it's speed, depth, and temperature, and this is our autopilot. Everything else is pretty standard. Uh, all the gauges work, and it's all Caterpillar original. So on the bridge, that's that's that's. There's one other thing that I did in here, which is this. I put a plexiglass door. So in case you have children or you have adults or whatever, you can just step on it and nobody falls through. It's a safety feature. And it, and it also keeps the sound down when you, when you go fast. This boat will, uh, this boat will probably cruise uh, somewhere around uh, 25 knots and it'll max out at 32 knots. I think we'll go downstairs. Okay, here we are in the main salon. Uh, some things I've done in here I want to feature. For one, I, I, took, I took the door out. This door has the boat's certification actually on it and it's in the forward bunk. I just like to be able to get in here 
Uh, other thing I've done, it's full of LEDs, so at night, the letters glow red very profoundly. It isn't just like barely there, it's very, very much there. So if you come in, I'll show you what we've done with the 110-220 system. The 110-220 system that could be plugged is right on this shore cord input. The inverter and shore is on this button. This is part of the inverter. It's a Zentrix, very high class inverter. It shows right now where we're connected. There is also a pathfinder, which a path maker, which connects the batteries to each other. As the voltage drops in one in one area of the batteries, it'll show you that the voltage has dropped. In here, it tells you how much power you've got left. We've got right now all the lights showing, so we are full of uh, the, all the 12 volt systems are powerful. This is the uh, water maker, which uh, I haven't worked for a while and I don't need it, so uh, it's probably going to need to be repercolated. So this, this is this control. Another feature the factory came up with this is a liquor dispenser. And, you know, whiskey, vodka. Uh, bourbon and uh, other drinks each button will bring you another drink the dispenser is in here and all the hoses go to different bottles in there it was kind of a nice feature especially for the people who like to drink we have an ice maker in here came from the factory, it works, it's good. One other feature I wanted to show is we've got, uh, originally this came with a huge television inside this hole. So what I've done, uh, I'm gonna turn it off, but I can show you, leave it on. I've put it on the door. So there's a door in here that opens up. And we have all this space, I put a light in here, so whoever wants to work on the electronics of the boat or whatever, you have a light in there. The white is a subwoofer for a Bose system. So this, this boat came with a Bose system with a surround sound and a, and a DVD. One other feature that uh, came with the boat, uh, well, we have the, uh, actually, we, we, in here we have the freezer, the refrigerator and freezer, they both work with a trash compactor, which you can come around later on and show. But the other, the other feature we featured, I've got a, a pressure gauge in here, and I've got a, a, a water gauge in here, and we also have a 12 volt system that when I turn this on, it shows the light inside under the kitchen, under the galley, we have uh, a 110 system that came with a boat, and I piggybacked a 12 volt system. In Catalina Island, we're not allowed to run the generators at night, so therefore, it would not allow you to uh, to have the high pressure system from the 110. I piggybacked the 12 volt system. I pulled the button. Voila! We got water in here now, so it works. You know the system. Uh, we have uh, in here, I want to feature with a CTEL system and this is the uh, this is a direct TV antenna that spins around as the boat spins underneath the boat. Uh, going further down If you if you go in here, you'll feature the the kids' quarters, and if you look backwards, you'll see there is a television in there too. Get your butt in there! Come on.
tremendous enterprise. The excitement is this power. The other thing that's custom made, this windows did not come from the factory. These windows were custom made. This boat comes with no windows on the hull, but this is above the water line, so we put a window in this room and in the master bedroom. Come in the master bedroom. It has a television. I'm going to turn the television off now. We also have another window in there. The bed. I've never slept here actually. I sleep in another room. I like to sleep on the water. So this, you know, we had it custom made and and that's that's the room. We are featuring here a head. I haven't done anything in the head, but it's 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 pretty. Your headliner we have. There's one thing I want to feature. Under the bed in here, there are two brand new propellers. We have never put them on, but they're under the bed. It's, uh, it's propellers that the uh, factory came up with. And it, I've never opened them up, but they're there. They're coming forward, V-Birth. Again, we have, we have another television in here. I'm going to turn it off. And uh, I think the other thing I've done in here, I've got a whole bunch of systems in here. Uh, the anchor locker drains. We have a light in here. Yeah, the anchor locker drains down here and all this valving can be overboard or into the tank the, uh, this boat has a vacuum vacuum flush system the chain locker you can wash from the outside escape hatch we even have original wallpaper from the factory that's still here. It's, uh, we never had to use it, but it's here. Another locker with lights. All right, we're rolling. As the owner of this boat, since its inception, <clears throat> I've done a lot of, uh, I've done a lot of things that helps the boat survive longer and better. Uh, I want to point out this elbow in here. This elbow is all copper and it has evacuation valve so when you stop the engines all the salt water inside the after coolers runs out of the boat and it stays evacuated. Uh, over there in the far end at the bulk wall of the uh, boat there's double raycore and the double raycores have double gauges so if it shows that we are clogged filters we have a redundant set of gauges also we've put an led up forward and a whole bunch of other lights uh, in the forward bunk the forward uh, bulkhead on both sides of the engines, we've removed anything that would stop somebody from going all the way in and then actually turning around in there and coming back out. So you don't have to go in and come backwards. You can go in, turn around and come out. Uh, all, the, uh, all the tanks have side gauges. I'm now going to have you move so you can film the side gauges.
this is one side gauge on the uh, port side of the boat and going to the other side this is a starboard gauge and there are valves on the bottom there that shut, the, shut that system off. I keep it off all the time except when I want to view how much fuel I have. Uh, going down into the shaft log last year we replaced the packing and we've added two new packings in here to uh, in case the packing goes bad we have a in 16 year I changed it once so now I have two new two two new ones to put in here this particular gadget is a brush with an entire bonding system that bonds the shafts, the props, and everything else to the bonding system.